Hi everyone, I'm John Poniker. I'm the President and CEO of the Greater Mount Airy Chamber of Commerce. We're going to be playing, a, I guess, having a little contest here. Marketing has set me up a little contest. These are all Shelton Vineyard wines. Um, we have a mixer, uh, a business after hours tomorrow night. That's Tuesday the 24th at 5.30 at Shelton Vineyards and they're on Cabernet Lane. Cabernet Lane out in Dobson. So. Um, Marketing's got a little test for me here. Remember, I'm a Wisconsin boy. I'm not a California vineyard, North Carolina vineyard person. So I can tell you Miller Lite and Miller High Life differences, but I think this could be a, a real challenge for me. So what do we got going on, Emily? Okay, so I will read the description of the wine and you are going to guess um, the type of wine. And I know nothing about wine either, so maybe I'll learn something as well. Number one is a semi-sweet wine. It has aromas and flavors of green apple and pear with a hint of luscious guava and ripe pineapple. So I have to taste it and then tell you which one of these it is? Yes. Well, I can tell you it's probably not blackberry, seeing as how um, it's got pineapple and <laughs> it doesn't say Shelton Sunset Pineapple. So that would well, kind of give it away. It would. All right. Am I supposed to swirl this or something and check the it, They have been breathing. Have they? Yes. And that's a good thing, right? I, I think so. All right. All right. It is a work day, so I should probably just do a sip. Yeah. Okay. You can spit them back out if you want. <laughs> you know, I'm not a um, wine drinker. Mm -hmm. I would totally drink that. That's good. Read yes. it again. Can you read it again? What is yeah, it? so it's a semi-sweet. It has aromas and flavors of green apple and pear with a hint of guava and pineapple. A hint of guava and pineapple. Yes. And I'm a pineapple lover, so that would probably be my favorite. All right. I am going to say... I really need an explanation of what all these are. Right? We don't know, so... Yeah. That's, that's why it's tricky. All right, I'm gonna start out by saying that it's this one. The so, Riesling. he's gonna say it's the Riesling. That's what I'm gonna start off with. Okay. I may be making some changes later. Okay, so All right. number two um, is an estate special. The grapes were pressed and transferred directly to the barrel. The juice underwent primarily um, in mallow lactic formation in barrel to extract the aromas and flavors present in the French and American oak. Okay, that's very interesting. Yeah, it's very complicated. Yes, um, I need a science degree for this. The yeah. wine exhibits aromas of oak, spice, and caramel that lead to flavors of toffee and green apple. All right, well, that's a mouthful. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's what I'm used to white wine tasting like. It's got a little bit more oomph to it. Man, it would really help if I knew that Cabernets and Chardonnays are red or white. I'm gonna say that is a Chardonnay. No, Chardonnay I think is a red wine. It certainly didn't taste like blackberry, but maybe that's uh, maybe that's how you're trying to get me on the blackberry <laughs> thing. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the blackberry because I think Cabernets and Chardonnays are all red, and I have three red ones left. You know that there's people right now that are looking at this going, "That guy's an idiot. He's uncouth." You are correct. Well, but yeah. I'm gonna, willing to learn. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Midwesterners and their their beer. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a beer after. Do a beer hours. one and different flavors of cheese, and yes. I'll kill it. Yes. So a strong black cherry aroma a medium body with mature tannins and enticing black pepper flavors. The mouth feel is silky smooth and balanced with oak character. It goes good with steak, burgers, pork tenderloin, or barbecue. Yeah, I can see that. All right, I'm gonna say that that is the uh, Yadkin Valley Cabernet Franc 2019. So I looked it up and it's literally Frank. Frank? See, I thought it was Franc. Franc. It's Frank. I'm going with Frank. Okay. Or I'm going with Franc. Franc. So I'm more polished. All right. 
Okay, number four. four. This vintage was beautiful and dry leading up to harvest. Following harvest and fermentation, it was barreled down and spent 17 months in barrel. A straightforward, structured red wine. Its level of acidity and complexity will complement grilled steak or lamb. Okay. That was good too. I think there's only been one here that I went so far that I wouldn't that I prefer not to drink. All right, I'm going to say that that's the Chardonnay, the Yadkin Valley 2020. Yeah, you know how they usually say that was a good year, 2020. <laughs> not such a good year. Maybe it was a good year for wine. It was not a good year. Period. All right. So the next one. Last one. Its description would give it away, so I'm gonna let you taste it. That's good. That's real good. Let me just move this one over here. So I did put them in tasting order. Mm -hmm. So you put it as the blackberry and you did get that right. And so that would be your dessert wine. That was really good. I could, I could, I would drink that. This is really the only one that I, that I didn't like. See, now I know that that's wrong. Cause I only have two Cabernets and one's white and one's red. I'm pretty sure this is, that I got this right. That's the Riesling. No, I'm gonna do this. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> you were so close. Really? You had, yeah, you. Which uh, one's wrong? You had all but two, and now you just. You I just butchered everything? Yes. <laughs> all but two, so if I. I will tell you, you have your reds and your whites mixed up. I do? Yeah. So the Riesling is white? Yes. Okay. I thought, I, I thought. Yeah, that one and was then, perfect. So these, all right, so these must go down like that or similar to that. Maybe these two are flipped like that. Yay! For someone that doesn't know anything about wine, you did a lot better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. If it weren't the middle of the day, I would. So these are them here? See, I should have come over. I sort of snuck up and looked at the uh, bottles. All these are Shelton. Now they're gonna have taste tests or little samplers for us. Yes, so you're gonna get a free glass of wine. Um, there's gonna be charcuterie boards from Harvest Grill. And then um, all of the guests are gonna be able to take little shuttle rides to their new farmhouse. Yeah, they got, what do they got? They got a new farmhouse out there. You said. Yeah, it's um, for weddings yeah, or other one. events. I'm gonna take this one home. Will went out and bought these? Yes. Will at Laser Edge? Yes, so Thanks we will. Thanks for your contribution, Will. <laughs> take I, that as our donation. I like that. All right, well, we're gonna do a lot of things out there. Please come out and, and uh, spend some time at Shelton talking to uh, other members out there, spending a little time marketing your business and learning more about them. Spend some time touring through Shelton, trying some of these delicious wines. We're gonna have some giveaways, um, some door prizes, some raffle gifts, uh, some from the chamber from some, some of our members. If you're one of our ambassadors, you're one of our members and you wanna bring a, a basket out to give away, put your cards in it, bring the basket out and we'll give those away as well. But, but it's really, it's a good, a good chance for you to come out and meet with other members and other businesses and learn more about them and, and learn more about the chamber and, and uh, just kind of blow off some steam at the end of the day. And what better way than a nice glass of wine, right? Yes, sir. So, but thank you everybody for watching and hopefully we'll see you Tuesday night, 5.30, Shelton Vineyards, and they are on, what did I say, Chardonnay Lane? Cabernet. Cabernet Lane, uh, out in Dobson. So hopefully we see you there. So long.